The first thing we need to do to set up our local development environment is install Rust. Head over to rustup.rs, copy the curl command, paste it into your terminal, and it will install the latest version of Rust. To check that it's installed, we can run cargo dash dash version. The next thing we need to do is install support for our editor. We're going to be using VS Code for this video series. So you'll want to click on that and we'll want to install that. You can also search for it as an extension within VS Code. And once you see this one, the rust-lang.rust extension, you can install it. Because Rocket uses some newer features of Rust, which are almost in the stable version, but not quite, we need to use the nightly toolchain. We can change the default by running rust up default nightly. You can check to see if, if it worked by running rust up default. And you'll see nightly prefixed at the beginning, meaning that we're using the right toolchain. The last thing that we're going to do is walk through the Hello World tutorial for Rocket, just to make sure that we can use it for a project. We're going to copy this into the terminal and we'll paste that in. Great. Open this up in VS Code. And now what we'll do is add Rocket as a dependency. So we'll copy this. We'll head over to our cargo.toml and underneath dependencies, we'll paste it in and save. Then what we'll do is modify source slash main.rs. So we'll copy all of this and open up main and paste this and we'll save. And then we'll use the integrated terminal. You can toggle this by opening the command palette and clicking toggle integrated terminal. And then we'll run cargo run and it will compile and run the application on localhost 8000. Navigate to localhost 8000 in your browser and you'll see hello world. And that's it. Our local environment is set up. We have Rust installed. We have the VS Code extension and we know that Rocket works. So we are ready to dive in.